I got an idea about homelessness. You know what they ought to do? Change the name of it. Change the name of it. It's not homelessness. It's houselessness. It's houses these people need. A home is an abstract idea. A home is a setting. It's a state of mind. These people need houses, physical, tangible structures. They need low-cost housing. But where are you going to put it? Well, that's fine, but where are you going to put it? Where are you going to put it? Nobody wants you to build low-cost housing near their house. People don't want it near them. we got something in this country you've heard of. It's called NIMBY, N-I-M-B-Y. Not in my backyard. <laughs> People don't want anything, any kind of social help located anywhere near them. You try to open up a halfway house. Try to open up a drug rehab or an alcohol rehab center. Try to do a homeless shelter somewhere. Try to open up a little home for some retarded people who want to work their way into the community. People say, not in my backyard. People don't want anything near them, especially if it might help somebody else. Part of that great American spirit of generosity we hear about. Great, generous American spirit. You can ask an Indian about that. Ask an Indian about if you can find one. You gotta locate an Indian first. We've made him just a little difficult to find. Well, if you need current data, select a black family at random. Ask them how generous America has been to them. People don't want anything near them, even if it's something they believe in, something they think society needs, like prisons. Everybody wants more prisons, right? Everybody wants more prisons. People say, build more prisons! But not here. <laughs> but why not? What's wrong? What's the problem? What's wrong with having a prison in your neighborhood? It would seem to me like it would make it a pretty crime-free area, don't you think? <laughs> You think a lot of crackheads and pimps and hookers and thieves are going to be hanging around in front of a fucking prison? <laughs> Bullshit, they ain't coming anywhere near it. What's wrong with these people? All the criminals are locked up behind the walls, and if a couple of them do break out, what do you think they're going to do? Hang around? <laughs> Check real estate trends? Bullshit. <laughs> they're fucking gone. That's the whole idea of breaking out of prison, is to get the fuck as far away as you possibly can. <laughs> Not in my backyard. People don't want anything near them, except military bases. They don't mind that, do they? They like that. Give them an army base. Give them a navy base. Makes them happy. Why? Jobs. Jobs. Self-interest. Even if the base is loaded with nuclear weapons, they don't give a fuck. They say, well, I'll take a little radiation if I can get a job. <laughs> Working people have been fucked over so long in this country, those are the kind of decisions they're left to make. I've got just the place for low-cost housing. I have solved this problem. I know where we can build housing for the homeless. Golf courses. Perfect. Golf courses. Just what we need. Just what we need. Plenty of good land in nice neighborhoods. Land that is currently being wasted on a meaningless, mindless activity engaged in engaged in primarily by white, well-to-do male businessmen who use the game to get together to make deals to carve this country up a little finer among themselves. I am getting tired, really getting tired of these golfing cocksuckers in their green pants and their yellow pants and their orange pants and their precious little hats and their cute little golf carts. It is time to reclaim the golf courses from the wealthy and turn them over to the homeless. Golf is an arrogant, elitist game and it takes up entirely too much room in this country. Too much room in this country. It is, it is an arrogant game on its very design alone. Just the design of the game speaks of arrogance. Think of how big a golf course is. The ball is that fucking big. What do these pinheaded pricks need with all that land? There are over 17,000 golf courses in America. They average over 150 acres apiece. That's 3 million plus acres. 4,820 square miles. You could build two Rhode Islands and a Delaware for the homeless on the land currently being wasted on this meaningless, mindless, arrogant, elitist, racist, there's another thing, the only blacks you'll find in country clubs are carrying trays, and a boring game, boring game for boring people. You ever watch golf on television? It's like watching flies fuck. And, and a mindless game, mindless. Think of the intellect it must take to draw pleasure from this activity. Hitting a ball with a crooked stick and then, walking after it. <laughs> and then, hitting it again. I say, pick it up, asshole, you're lucky you found the fucking thing. 
Put it in your pocket and go the fuck home. You're a winner. You're a winner. You found it. No. Never happened. No. No chance of that happening. Dorco in the plaid knickers is going to hit it again and walk some more. Let these rich cocksuckers play miniature golf. Let them fuck with a windmill for an hour and a half or so. See if there's really any skill among these people. Now, I know there are some people who play golf who don't consider themselves rich. Fuck them! And shame on them for engaging in an arrogant, elitist pastime.